Whose idea was Mortal Kombat? Well, that's what I thought me. Well, that was the initial, initial idea. I was yeah. just my yeah. imagery. Yeah. 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 My name is David Mikicic and I'm a graphic artist. My name is Dan Ford and I do sounds and music. And tell people. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ed Boone, I'm co-designer and programmer. My name is Tony Yaski and I uh, do backgrounds and special effects. John Vogel, backgrounds and special effects. John Tobias and uh, co-designer and lead artist. Steve Moran and I'm a video artist. Our motto in Williams is always that reality is boring. Nobody wants to pay for reality. We take everything beyond reality to the point where it's, you know, the only way to do this is, is through our video game. It's the perfect blending of everything. I mean, the game is fun to play. Uh, it's got good graphics. Uh, and it's got a, you know, a, a decent backstory to it. It's easy to come up with the ideas, you know. Anybody can come up with ideas for games and stuff, but it's to actually convert something from a, an idea in your head into reality, into something that is a sellable product, that's where the challenge is. This is sort of the very first uh, concept of the story. This, this guy here eventually became Shang Tsung. The mystique and all the, that whole feeling of it was really the, the foundation of that was really what, what John Tobias kind of envisioned. One thing Mortal Kombat does for all of us is, is um, it, it puts you in a mood or, or puts you in a setting where, where you're sort of able to create things uh, that, that are surreal. Um, Mortal Kombat 1 took place more you know, in an, on an earthly environment, you know, in an Asian type of setting. Um, in part two, we knew that we were going to send our characters to sort of a different world and so the door was completely open for us to kind of interpret that in any way we wanted. Mortal Kombat 3 has so much hidden stuff, you know, it's just endless, you know, just the amount of stuff that we packed in there. Okay, come on. I don't know if I should be telling you this, but I'm going to show you a move, okay? Listen, if you go back, forward back and then down and then push the run button and if you do that really fast you'll be your friend forever the button and joystick combinations were the expected uh, you know everybody would start looking for them uh, immediately and that's when uh, I believe Ed came up with this whole sort of combination lock system there's six little boxes three of which are controlled by player one three of which are controlled by player two try different combinations of those six. There's a million possible combinations to see what can be unlocked in the game.